start of a new series here on my channel. If you guys would like, you're going to have to let me know after you watch the video in the comments down below. Let me know whether or not you want me to continue this and do sort of other brands. There is something happening on this side of my apartment and then outside this side of my apartment, there's a neighbor of mine outside building something. So there's like hammering and sawing and think maybe that's what that is, sawing. I don't really know what's happening, but um, if you can hear that, I sincerely apologize and um, so when I was first getting into makeup, I was really noticing that there were a lot of brands that would sell palettes and they would also sell their eyeshadows in like a single pan form so that you could pop them into an empty custom magnetic palette. And so I never knew what would be better for me. I never knew whether or not the palette was worth more or buying your own single shadows, choosing your shades, and then also purchasing a separate palette to put them in. I never knew which one was more worth my money, which one was better for my skill level and all that good stuff. So I thought I would start a series where I compare pans versus palettes of different brands. And I actually came up with this idea even before I started my YouTube channel. I was like, someday I'm gonna have a YouTube channel and I'm gonna start a series that's called Pan versus Palettes. Because I never knew which one was better for me. So let me know if this is something that you guys like and I will absolutely do more. There's way more than just one brand that does this single pan versus palette concept. So for the first installment of Pan versus a Palette, I'm gonna be talking about Coastal Sense, which is one of the first eyeshadow palettes I ever purchased. I'm gonna be talking mainly about the warm palette. I also have another one that's called the Metal Mania palette and they do have a different amount of product. This one's like 63 grams and the other one's like 68 or something. So it's not much different, but just for reference, I'm gonna be talking about the Warm palette in comparison to their single shadows. I'm gonna look up if I can find anybody else having done a video like this where they compare like pan versus palette because I've never seen it before. So when I just type in pan versus palette into the search bar on YouTube, I'm getting mostly stuff from artists, like um, paints as opposed to makeup artistry. There's a video called Pan That Palette. Oh, okay, so this girl, Pretty Pistol, I think what she does, I didn't watch the video, but I think what she does is buy a palette, uses it until she hits pan, and then reviews it. I'm gonna watch that later. ABH Subculture Palette Review, no kidding. I never heard of this Pan That Palette thing, that's cool. Anyhow, the way that I have sort of organized this is that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the single eyeshadow pans, which this palette is full of mostly Coastal Scents. Some of them are like a, a different brand, some of them are Makeup Geek, and a couple of them are ColourPop, but mostly these are Coastal Scents shades, and I have more than just this of Coastal Scents shades. I love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the single pans, give you the rundown, basically a, a little mini review, and then I'll do the same for the palette. So I'll sort of break it up separately in the beginning, and then I'll go ahead and give you a gist as to which method of eyeshadow, which method of, you, you get what I mean, which one wins a certain category, like pigment, blendability, bang for your buck. So from that, you guys will be able to see an overall winner of which one I recommend over the other. So let's go ahead and start with the single eyeshadows. They come in 26 millimeter pan sizes in diameter, which I believe is pretty standard. Like I said, some of these are Makeup Geek and, and ColourPop, and they're all the same pan size, so about 26 millimeters. And they have 0 0.05 ounces of product or one and a half grams per pan. The Coastal Scents shades retail for $1.95 a pop, and they do a 99 cent sale all the time. I feel like maybe like twice a year they do this big sale for several days or whatever when you can get each shade for 99 cents, which is a steal. Let me just tell you, that's a steal. All the different shades do have different names. I will say that the Coastal Scent shades aren't really necessarily all that creative. Some of them are really nice and cool, but some of them are like, I believe this one's called Neon Red. Not all that creative, but you know, some of them are. I think you get a lot of bang for your buck when it comes to the single pans. They're an average sized eyeshadow. I will put some comparisons on the screen for you guys so that you know how these compare to other major popular eyeshadow pan brands. I think the pigment is incredible. They finger swatch beautifully, but swatches don't always necessarily show you how a shadow will perform on the eye. But I think even the pigment on the eye is incredible. They're not overly pigmented to the point where you really need to be careful, but I would recommend tapping off the excess so that you don't get any fallout. 
and you won't have to really keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to build up your color, which you can if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to do that. So the pigment is great. I think the ColourPop eyeshadows are some of my favorite single eyeshadows, and those are a little bit more pigmented than the Coastal Sense ones, in my opinion. These also blend really, really nicely. They're unlike the ColourPop ones in the sense that they're super soft and powdery. They're a little bit more hard, but not chalky. They're super duper uber easy to blend. And even some of these like more bright neon shades, I was sort of nervous to try because these shades are always sort of hit or miss. They're, they're really hard to formulate, so it's hard to make a super pigmented, bam in your face neon shade, especially for $1.95, girl. But these are pretty stinking good for the price. I took actual like notes, like straight up notes for this video, so if you see me looking down, I'm checking my notes. But I forgot to write down how many shades they come in. They have over 370 shades. 370. 370. So I sort of feel like the best way to gauge the worth of any eyeshadow, really any powder product, is price per ounce. And so I went ahead and did all the math to figure out the price per ounce that you get in the single shadows. So for the pans, it is $3.90 per ounce because each shadow, oh wait, oh my god, that's not even right. Oh my god, that's so not right. Oh my god, I'm so glad I caught that, that would have been embarrassing. I thought it was 0.5 and not 0.05. Can I do 195 times? Oh, I was so bad at math in high school. Okay, no, that makes no sense. <laughs> no sense whatsoever. Wait, is that right? And that costs, oh, can I cross multiply? I am bomb at cross multiplying. Wait, I thought I just did this. Do I have to move a decimal? Why would one whole ounce cost three cents? Now, we will be going over dividing decimals. And the one thing that you have to remember, and I wrote this for you in green, you have to get rid of the decimal in the outside number. So we have an oh. outside number of 5.1 as possible. I told you. And whatever you do to the outside number, oh my God, this is all coming back to me. Number. So now that we got rid of the decimal, I got 39 the again. Number, So price per ounce, yeah, it's like way better in the palette, okay. I'm having flashbacks to when I was a kid. This is why I hated math so much. Of all the concepts that I learned in school, cross multiplication is the one that I find myself using most as an adult. Adult. All right, so now that we're done with that little math lesson, if you were wondering, the price per ounce for one single shadow is $39 per ounce, which is a lot. I think. Alright, so now that I went ahead and broke down a single shadow, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the palette and then I will give you guys the gist. So this is the warm palette with 88 different colors in it. 88. So in this palette, you get 2.22 ounces of product, which is 0 0.025 ounces per shadow per shade, which is 63 grams. And the shadow is 1.6 centimeters in diameter. So these things are very small, very small. Would you have to think about it? Like when I bought this, I was like, 88 shadows. Heck yeah, I want 88 shadows. But they're really little. The whole palette all together costs you $11.95. It does have a mirror, as you can see, which is smaller than the, you know, the whole lid of the palette, which I feel like also might make it less likely to break, which is always a good thing. And then it comes with these useless little applier things, applicators. So since it has a mirror, of course, it does not come with a see-through top. It just says the name on there. When it comes to bang for your buck, I think it's not bad, especially if you're a beginner. These shadows are not too pigmented, to the point where they're difficult to work with for a beginner, but they do blend really nicely, again, making it easier for a beginner. So price per ounce for the palette is $5.38. I've used this palette maybe a maximum of like three times, and you can see that I already hit pan on this like mid-tone brown crease shade. They also blend really nicely, but there's something about them. These are 
more of a dry formula and they're not necessarily as pigmented on the eyes and so especially like I hit pan on this when I was a beginner I haven't used this palette in a really long time I'm not even gonna lie I just prefer their single shades I think they have better quality overall the pigmentation and the blendability are better on the single eyeshadows than in the palette eyeshadows in my humble opinion However, I do think that the palette is a great bang for your buck, especially if you're a beginner. This is such a great palette to start out with because you have all of your highlight shades, your transition shades, your deep outer corner shades, your shimmery lid shades. You got everything in this palette that you need, plus a mirror and a couple of applicators if you like to use that kind of thing to apply your eyeshadow. This is great to learn on because it doesn't cost a lot of money. So even if it's not the best, best quality shadows, they're easy to learn with. So here's the gist. I'm gonna go ahead and run through a couple of different categories and I'm gonna tell you which wins that category. So when it comes to ounce per shade per eyeshadow, obviously the pan wins that hands down. It has 0 0.05 ounces per shade, while the palette per shade has 0 0.025 ounces. However, when it comes to price per ounce, the palette absolutely takes the cake because it's only $5.38 per ounce, whereas the pans are $39 per ounce. So if you're someone who doesn't care as much about the amount of product, you just want a lot of different colors to choose from, definitely go with the palette. When it comes to bang for your buck, I personally believe that if you are experienced, the pan wins this category. However, I do believe that if you are a beginner, there is more bang for your buck in the palettes. For pigmentation and color payoff, I definitely have to go ahead and give that to the pan as well. I think they're more pigmented. That's just all there is to it. And it's safe for blendability, I personally believe that the pans are easier to blend. With the palette, you just have to sort of work with them a little bit more to get them to blend out. They still do blend out beautifully, but you might have to just work a little bit harder. So overall, I believe that if you're a beginner, and I'm talking like beginner, like you don't know anything about makeup, I think that the palettes would be really great for you to start out with because you have a lot of different shades to sort of experiment with and they're sort of easier to work with when it comes to being a beginner. And if you're a little bit more experienced, I recommend pan overall for anybody, but if you are a beginner and you don't want to like waste your money, you want a little bit more bang for your buck, a little bit more product for your dollar, then I recommend the palette. Dollar? Did you hear I said that? But overall, I personally prefer the pans. Even though they are more expensive per ounce, I think that the quality is better. So that's everything for this video. Let me know if you guys want me to continue this as sort of a series. I'd love to do ColourPop or Morphe, things like that. If you want me to continue this series, then definitely leave me a request down below for what brand you want me to try next. And that's everything for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you guys next time. I also forgot to mention I am wearing a combination of a couple of these sort of brownish sort of matte shades in my crease and then on my lid I'm wearing the single hot pot in the shade mauve. Excuse me, I don't appreciate that. Excuse me. My back already hurts and I haven't even started filming yet. What is this called? I am a baby boy. Look, I love you. 0.05x equals 195. I told my stupid husband I was gonna film a video and he said, did you film? And I said, I'm about to. And he said, I'm going to watch your videos now. And I said, ew, no. And he said, this way you can't stop me. Ha ha ha, I love seeing your work and passion. It makes me happy. I love him. 0 0.05 divided by 195. We can just divide this using normal long division. Can we? Ah, I pinched myself.